you know, as the moment Nigeria be able to put themselves, the northern leaders and the southern leaders be able to put themselves and understand the need and the space that we are no longer interested in the, the space called Nigeria, then it, it is better for all of us, you know, uh, to begin to uh, un understand the need. Okay, good afternoon. And yeah. uh, Simon Ekpa has come out to blast um article for you know for supporting one Nigeria and um um as regards article coming out to say that um 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 replied article replied Lagos and um, Peda as regards um Ibos leaving Lagos from 20th to 30th of August. But he reply now um some has come out to blast article for you know um for not coming out to speak up when Deborah was kid back then in the north I think two years ago and I must come call him an um um a coward or hypocrite and um, what can you say to this uh, these are years of you know a reservation uh, from uh, the north you know uh, coming to uh, play a kind of a game now we are uh, the reality of Biafra is staring all everybody on the face all over the world now and uh, so uh, article coming out to say and the response coming from uh, 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 Simon Eba, what does that tell you? It tells you, you know, uh, that Igbos are beginning to have that consciousness, you know, of their position in Africa, of their position in Nigeria, of their position politically and otherwise, and the need for them to continue to drive for independent state of Biafra, you know, no matter how anybody was going to see it. But uh, we, we need to understand that need for, you know, a, a communal uh, arrangement where there will be a, a the disintegration of Nigeria because there's no how Biafra can be part of Nigeria, you know, because uh, on every struggle that we have been part of for this or this why it means that you know we are just busy, you know, throwing away our destinies, throwing away our cultures, throwing, throwing away our, our principles, you know, for other people who do not even appreciate it to feast on it, you know. So, I, I think, in better essence of it, you know, um, it was a pest in this country, we produce the first. Uh, military head of state will produce the first president. You know, talking about Dr. Namda Ziki, and these are the people. These are the people who champion the independence of Nigeria. You know, before uh, we what we are seeing today begin to uh, actually uh, play out. You know, that's how they started in 1967 when the, the conspiracy theory uh, started flowing. The Igbos they started killing Igbos even before independence in the north in 1953. But unfortunately. For the British colonial masters, they were not able uh, to look at these uh, three uh, powerful uh, tribes, you know, and know what to do. But they were able to couple Nigeria together based on, you know, uh, the interest and the economic and uh, commercial uh, value they are going it is going to add to their own country. So Nigeria was created out of selfishness. Nigerian patriotic spirit we are seeing today is based on survival of corruption. You know, so there's no major ethnic. A, 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 a nation or religion or, relig religion or uh, nationality that want to be part of a system, you know, that has crippled itself. Nigeria is being murdered today by Nigerians, and Biafrans are saying we can no longer be part of this, you know, because what is existing in the north is not what is existing in the south, you know. And you see, to tell you how funny, if not for the excessiveness of the Nigerian leaders, you know, uh, the leveraging on the crude oil factor uh, mm. from the south, you know, uh, uh, using it uh, carelessly, uh, you know, uh, so we wouldn't have been having uh, this kind of, Nigeria would have been able to see prospects, all the all the G nationalities in Nigeria should have, would have been able to see prospects, and maybe if there is any uh, uh, difference, there should have been uh, uh, cohesion and connection to that, you know, so let me give you an example, America as a state today have 13 colonies, you know, but when the British system, I think about 1776 or there about when America uh, got their independence, you know, 13 colonies, and that, those 13 colonies have different cultures, you know, different tra tradition mm. that make up America. So each colony have their own culture and tradition, you understand? But they were able to come together after being led by George Washington and, and, uh, 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 and the rest of them who led the uprising against the British colonial regime as at that time because of taxation. They were massively taxed, you know. So they, they, at the end, they, those 13 colonies were able to come together. You know, um, today we are having every colony operating on its own under a federating system arrangement. But in Nigeria here, you, you understand, you see the conspiracy, you know, g going on by uh, not uh, trying to, by, by seeing others, uh, other, uh, especially the Biafras, you know, as, uh, uh, as a domineering factor, which has created a lot of 
uh, deep jealousness, you know, by the Yorubas and the and and and, 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 and the Northerners, and that was why they came up and termed uh, the 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 Tukuman Zogu led uh, a military uh, cube as at that time as an evil cube, you know. So to that extent, I think uh, uh, several attempts were made, but unfortunately, the media was able to you know transfer that uh, uh, propaganda to the people and the, 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 that seems to grow over time and over time and over time and over time but what i'm trying to tell you the, the, at this point in time is that you know the advancement mm. and the 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 the, 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 the republic nature of uh, 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 the Igbo has given them that pride mm. to stand any any uh, any any throwback or any 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 tactrum on, on on the identity or, or, or any uh, backfire on, on the identity so that has formed that the response that is being given to alaji uh, atiku abubakar today you know is not based on what atiku is trying to achieve it is based on the reality on ground you cannot face fake reality you can fake yourself you can fake certificate you can fake the identity but the reality on ground you cannot fake it this is 100 hours four years of Nigeria existence as a country, mm. the Igbo man that has contributed 70% of structural, mm. infrastructural, economic and commercial development of Nigeria, more than any other tribe, mm. is being seen as not worthy to occupy the position of the presidency. And what does that tell you? You know, in every consciousness of an Igbo man, it means that, you know, the time for um, sovereignty mm. of the most populous black race in Africa. See, the struggle for Biafra is not about Biafra. The, mm. the, the struggle of Biafra is uh, awakening the consciousness of the black man, you know, uh, to take position of what is made of Africa. Because we cannot continue to stand here and our uh, people are advancing to the moon and you know, exploiting, having dominion over there. Because of these people, they, they seem to have taken us back. So, someone is responding to that, you know, that there's no need of this camouflage. We don't need this cosmetic approach for now. You know, what we need at this point in, in time is to advance our own concept. And you can see it, you know, the, the, the entire Biafran land is gradually withdrawing their patriotic nature, you know, uh, to Nigeria. And Nigeria beginning to observe it that the withdrawal of Igbo might definitely turn uh, the rest of the nationalities into Babylon. So that is the game, the game at, the, uh, at this point. And that is what Shabonipa uh, uh, is trying to uh, reply uh, to uh, Alaji Atiku Abubakar. But on a secular knowledge, on a normal secular ground, you know, where things are being seen to be uh, justice, there's justice, there's fair play, there's under, and there's cohesion, you know, uh, not this type of marginalization. They conspired, you know, deliberately, you know, that to an extent, a certain uh, 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 man came out, I'm uh, talking about the national chairman of the APC, came out and told the whole world you know, that he was uh, deliberately marginalized. And you can see that kind of something. So, what, what I want to tell Al Alaja Atuko Abubakar about, because uh, these are people who are a bit liberal, who are not extremists, when you're talking about you know, political figures of respect in the North, you understand? And uh, coming out, you know, uh, to make take a, a position and alert the whole world, you know, of an unfortunate uh, silence of the Yoruba leaders against Igbo threats in Lagos, considering the fact that 70% of, uh, of, of investment and, 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 and contribution is, is being credited to this uh, race we are talking about today, you know. So, Latiko have made it very clearly, and Obi has added his voice to that, you know, and uh, I thank God that the, the governor of Lagos State, uh, 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 Mr. Somolu, mm. you know, uh, uh, came out, you know, and uh, uh, added a voice and called for, you know, restriction because it, 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 because they they might be looking at it that the humble looking of a lion does mean that the lion is weak. But unfortunately, mm. even a dead lion, a, 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 a lion that is looking, when well, you look at how looks so humble, you know, but you don't know the, the humility in it can be turned to you know beast at the end of the day they should not unhurt the evil beast in them because they will regret it you understand Igbo has advanced more than any race in in nigeria as i'm talking to you now so i i, I think uh, it's high time uh the the the, the uh, nobody's going to chicken out in this context at the end of the day but i, I want to uh, commend uh, uh Abubak, no matter how you look at it you know for coming out you know to even let the whole world know that you know that this thing if it continues of course uh, we know how where it's going to end at the end of the day, you know. But I'm telling you that Igbos at the end of the day is going to have, uh, a, you know, an advanced upper hand at the end of the day. You see, what that was what led to Hitler uh, trying to uh, kill the Jews 
uh, as at that time in Europe, you know, because you cannot trace any crime being committed by the Jews as at that time, you know. But you can see that one day Hitler woke up in the morning and started accusing, accusing Jews uh, uh, in Europe of extra, uh, extraordinary dominion. You know, uh, innovations, science, and everything. The Jews were just everywhere, you know. And they, 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 they believe that their species, the, the kind of white, you know, they enjoy is higher or different from other whites. And that was what led to, you know, Second World War at the end of the day. You know, uh, six million Jews were massacred in a gas chamber. Today, Israel in 1948, you know, became a nation. And they said never ever again will anybody be you who on this earth can point an east or, 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 or a hand on israel and go scot-free what is happening today the entire hamas the hierarchy in lebanon in iraq uh, if i can give you names of those people has been murdered by israel today for threatening the israel sovereign nobody i'm telling you instead it's better that this word go down so what i'm trying to say, say in essence is this you know i think that to an extent eh, the Igbos have endured and that endurance and, and the sympathy that is coming from the international community uh, means that uh, 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 that was what gave obi you know that sympathy was what gave obi uh, uh, that political leverage to be able to hit up to seven million uh, 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 voters, electors, you know, from the last presidential election at the end of the day. So, um, Simon Ebo is in order, and the article Abubakar also is in order. So, do you think that Ibo they dodge a bullet by not con um, 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 participating in the, this protest? The Ibo, do you know? Do you, do, you, do you think they dodge a bullet? Because if they are participated and the um, protest escalated, do you not think they would have put it on them that they are the one, you know, um, 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 wanting this protest at all costs? I don't know the advanced theory of philosophy to understand the Nigerian factor politically. You know, that's the fact. You know, I, I have come to understand that Nigeria as a nation has a factor. And the Igbos, it took them time to study the Nigerian factor and be able to come up with their own philosophy, you know, on how to, you know, deal with Nigeria. And that philosophy and concept was initiated as a consciousness by Bazin Nam the Kano himself, you know, because before everybody begin to enjoy the, uh, the renewed awakening that is spreading all over Africa today. Today, as I'm talking to you, countries like Burkina Faso, Zambia, Mali, Sin they are all making references to Nam the Kano, you know, a, a reawakening of the Igbo, uh, of the black man consciousness. Let me just, I don't want to even talk about the Biafras themselves in, in that context. But what I'm, what I'm saying is this, is that it has come to that point you know, we are, we have understand it very clearly that at every point we want Nigeria is, is in need of leadership. You know, they, they, there is this deliberate gang up, the decided threat, you know, to make sure that Nigeria continue to crawl. And it was, are not the, the illuminate they don't want to be part of you know this kind of nature it was a republican they are too adventurous to be in darkness and that's what nigeria represents and Nigeria as a nation represents darkness and the darkness online i don't think they have any a, a kind of grand arrangement and that's why you can see you know they are always working at parallel lines at any point at any time irrespective of the concept that is on ground the issue is this as I, as we advance in the context of trying to define our identity, not even talking about the black man, our identity as who we are, given to us by God, not by man, not even by Nigeria, not even by Odlovo Duku, not even by Polo Pugo, not even by Namdekano. This is a destiny that is connected to the kingdom that has been ordained by God, that the fourth kingdom will arise from uh, from a black kingdom, from a black continent, you know, and the rise of that prince as a kingdom, as a nation that will advance the culture of spiritism and divinity is where we are today i'm talking about the rise of africa you know and nobody can uh, stop that so other tried and you can see all of a sudden we started seeing yoruba and say oh do do what do do well we started seeing all those things no because they know that at any point in time the white man have already structured it to the extent that you know at every place everywhere in the world you can see pinpoint the Igbo genealogy the jewish nature eh, in Igbo blood dna that's not in everywhere, you know, that makes that tones. You, you might think it's a, 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 a it's being influenced by other factors, but it's in their DNA, yeah. you know, that if they happen to step into the leadership of Nigeria, you know, Nigeria will have taste. As I'm talking to you now, Nigeria have no taste because, you know, the salt has not been added to the port called Nigeria today. So 
to that extent, it's not about bullets. We are first bullets, you understand? Uh, and we have heroes who can attest to that, you know. Uh, the whole world, including America, France, Germany, uh, Russia, uh, uh, Egypt, Ma Mali, Niger, they all fought the Piafra Nigeria war. Mm. What happened? We were able to sustain, we created a nation that existed. Today, we are asking that that, that nation, according to the United Nations Act, be restored. But you can see, mm. when they are throwing treasonable felony on you, mm. they will tell you that you are treasonable felony. Mm. That is the Nigerian factor. So the issue of taking a bullet is not necessary. The, necess the, the thing is that, you know, uh, Nigeria has distanced themselves from the Iboris. Mm. I will distance themselves from them. You know, if Nigeria feel that they cannot be relational in a relationship, mm. of course, so be it. We do not need. We network Africa. Not be, not be Nigeria. Nigeria is too small, you know, to um, for Igbo man to, you know, um, uh, uh, transform. Nigeria is too small. They have already predicted it in the next 50 years from now, you know, that Igbo will take over Africa. Not taking over Africa to dominate anybody, but taking over Africa to uh, um, uh, give the black man the consciousness it's required to advance, you know, to the global level and to the admiration of other people. I don't want to mention names. I don't want to start telling you, you know, the efforts Simone Ba and the rest of them has also made, you know, uh, in, in that regard. To Nigeria, the, it, 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 it's a waste of time. But to us, we know that it's a reality. Thank you very much. Thank you.